go ahead and start another document, File New. And let's take a look at the circle tool. It's located right here. It's also C, it's a keyboard shortcut. The circle tool is a two click process. So the first click you want to set as the origin point, and the second click determines the radius. Before you draw with the circle tool, it's important to note that SketchUp doesn't create true arcs and curves. It actually creates them in segments. And you can see that in the bottom right before we draw our circle, SketchUp wants us to draw a 24 sided or segmented circle. And by default, that's okay. It really limits the number of sides or edges in the model. And it's good for 90% of the work that you'll ever use in SketchUp. You may find times that you need to change the number of sides, and I'll show you how to do that. First, let's click, set our origin point, and the second click is going to determine our radius. So you can see the segments starting to increase there. I can simply just type in a value of 8 feet and press enter, set my circle at an 8 foot radius. Now, like the line tool and rectangle tool, it remembers your last input, so I can type in 5 foot sign, hit enter. I can also change the number of sides. So see here how it's five feet and it's 24 sides. Maybe I want it at six feet. So I type in six foot sign, hit enter. And let's change the number of sides. So instead of 24 sides, let's try 12 sides. So I'll type in 12 and then the S key and then enter. So now you'll see we have a 12 sided six foot radius circle. Now that's not really ideal, so we want to add more sides. In this case, I'll type in 48 and then S and then press enter. So you may think, what happens now if you click on another tool and you need to change the number of sides or even the radius of the circle? You can't just click on it to change it. You can, however, go to Entity Info. So if I select the line, the Select tool, so if I select that outer edge so it highlights blue, I'm going to go to Window, Entity Info. It's going to bring up this little pop-up. Here you can find information about the layer that it's on, the radius, and the segments. So I'm going to bring this back to 24 sides. I'll just press the Tab key to get myself out of that. And then for the radius, maybe I'll change it to 8 feet. Next, let's take a look at the Polygon tool. 